Welcome to the Savant ADC video training series. My name is Jim, and in this training session, we will be doing part one of the system setup and configuration. So let's get started. To keep our videos consistent throughout the training series, we have created a demo company called Radical Rakes. Radical Rakes is a manufacturer of robotic lawn maintenance products. They distribute their products through a multi-channel that includes retailers and the Radical Rakes online store, which sells direct to end customers. Radical Rakes distributes their products through a single warehouse facility. In this training session, we will begin by focusing on the ADC system administration setup functions. This will include setting up company information, our warehouse site, and system security. If you've taken the time to consult the Savant ADC user manual and fill out the setup and configuration guide, then the setup process will be pretty straightforward. The ADC menu system has a tab for each module, and the setup functions are grouped together. The setup icons are for the most part organized from left to right in the order that you would follow in configuring the system. There are a couple of exceptions which I will point out as we run through the setup process. We will be doing this setup and configuration from scratch, so you will be able to see how easy and fast the setup process is. The first step is to launch the company information screen. The company name is automatically filled in based on the name associated with the activation key you entered at the end of the installation process. Now you are required to enter your company's address, city, state, country, zip, and optionally phone number. The fields highlighted in red signify that the field is required. I'm going to enter our company information. Once the information is entered, click on the Update button to save your changes. One of the setup exceptions that I referred to earlier is the Site Setup screen. We are going to bypass the security screens for just a moment and enter our site information which is located in the Warehouse Setup screen. Without the optional multi-site module, the Savant ADC application only supports one site, and that site will always be main. Using the lookup, we're going to bring up the main site. In order for the system to come up during the initial login, we had to create some seed data. The information associated with the main site is Savant's address. It is very critical that you change this information to reflect your warehouse site. Site information is used extensively throughout the system and on labels and reports. Therefore, you want this information to reflect the address associated with your site and not Savant software. For this training video, we're going to keep the seed data. It is also critical that the activation flag is always turned on for the main site. The system will not work if this site is not active. Finally, notice the default order and purchase order type prompts. We recommend that you leave these prompts empty for now until you complete setting up the receiving and order fulfillment modules. After those modules are set up, then you can come back into the site setup screen and enter the type codes for those modules. Click on the Update button to save your changes. Having set up our site, we are now going to set up security. Click on the security icon from the Setup menu group. The first step is to set up users or operators. When we logged into the system, we used a default login called sysadmin. You can decide whether to keep this operator ID or not. For this training exercise, we're going to keep the sysadmin user. However, we are going to change some of his information. We will also be adding an assistant warehouse manager and inventory specialist. So let's change the sysadmin user information. Make a mental note here and notice that the password fields are not required fields. I will explain this when we get to the security options tab. We recommend that even though passwords are not required, that you enter a password for the user anyway, so that the system is changed to require passwords, this information is already in place. In the language ID prompt, you can select the language that the operator will be using. In our training system, 
we have the option of English or Spanish. Finally, set the operator flag to active. You have the option to make users inactive by turning off the flag, and this should be used when the operator will not be using the system for a period of time, like during vacations or sick time, or when the operator is no longer employed with the company. Once the information has been changed or entered, click on the Update or Save button. Now we can click on the New button to add our new users. The first user we're going to add is Inventory User. First name is Sarah. Last name is Warden. Job description is Inventory Specialist. This will be using the English language, and the active flag was obviously going to be on. My next user is going to be Spanish user. First name will be Juan. Last name will be Garcia. His job description is Warehouse Assistant. His language we're going to change to Spanish, and again he'll be active. Now that our operators are set up, let's click on the Security Options tab. In the Operator Setup screen, passwords were not required fields. This is because the Validate Operator Passwords is not checked. If I check that box, save the change, and go back to the Operator screen, you'll notice that the password fields are now required fields. Savant ADC also gives you the ability to log out inactive users. In our current setting, a user who has not used the system for 19 minutes will automatically be logged out of the system. We can change this interval here. We can also turn off the feature by unchecking the box, and inactive users will never be logged off the system automatically. Notice that when that feature is turned off, the interval cannot be updated. The Encrypt Passwords box will determine whether the passwords are encrypted in the database. If you are worried about an employee getting into the database and gaining access to your operator's passwords, then this will provide added security at the database level. You have the ability to create minimum and maximum password links. Savant ADC can also track if someone is trying to log in the system and failing. You can set up the system to lock out the user after a defined number of failed attempts. The system will automatically make the operator inactive after the failed log attempts is reached. Once that happens, the system administrator will need to go into the operator setup screen and switch the active flag for that operator back on. Finally, Savant can also track the number of days to force an operator to change their password. The Savant ADC system has the ability to create access privileges to define groups of users. This functionality is defined in the role setup screen. Let's look at the predefined administrator role. Below the description is a grid which contains all of the screens and functions associated with the ADC system. Next to each function is the available access type for that function. In this example, the administrator role has been given full control to every system function. For this training, I'm going to create two additional roles called manager and inventory. To do that, I'm going to click on the new button. Enter my role ID manager, select the site, and enter the description which is manager main warehouse. Now this particular role will have access to every aspect or every function of the system except for the security functions. Now I can go in and change this one at a time, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mass change all the access types to full control and then change the exceptions. To do that, I'm going to come here and change full control, apply to all. And you can see that I now have access, or this role has access, to everything. I'm going to scroll down until I get to the operator function. I'm going to change that 
to no access. I'm going to continue to scroll down. Role assignment. I'm going to change to no access. Role setup. I'm going to also change to no access. And then security options. I'm going to change to no access. Now in order for the grid to take effect, I need to go off of the row. So I'm going to click on a row here and it's going to give me uh, no access to that particular row. If I didn't and I saved it, I would still have full control on this particular uh, function. Once complete, I hit the Save button. And now I'm going to create my new role called Inventory. Now this particular role is going to have access to only screens related to the inventory functions. So I'm going to click up here to help me remember what those functions are. And go back up to the top. I'm going to scroll down. And my first inventory function is change hold codes and dates. I'm going to give full control there. Inventory levels. Old reason codes. Location inquiry. Now you'll notice we have these mobile functions as well. And this particular user is going to have access to the mobile device cycle counting. Location inquiry. Pallet move. Product Adjustment, Product Inquiry, and Product Move. Okay, now that's all I'm going to change for right now. So I'm going to save that. And so now we've defined three roles, the Administrator role, the Manager role, and the Inventory role. The final step in security is to connect or assign the role to an operator. First we select the operator, then the site, and then click on the appropriate role for that operator. If you select multiple roles for an operator, then that operator will be granted the highest privileges. As an example, if we assign an operator both the inventory and the manager roles, the operator will have access to all areas of the system except the security functions since the manager role gives full control to all other functions. Now we're going to be assigning the manager role to Spanish user and we're going to be assigning the inventory role to our inventory user. Let's take a look at our changes. But first, I want you to notice the Three Amigos icon for security. This is important because when we log back in, we'll be referencing that particular icon. I edited the video and logged in as a Spanish user. Now remember, when we set up the Spanish user, we gave them a language ID of Spanish. And you'll notice that all of the icon labels and the screens are now in Spanish. Also, the Spanish user has been assigned the manager role, and the manager role has access or full control of all functions of the system except security. Now notice that our Three Amigos security icon is no longer present on the menu. This is because without access to security, there's no reason to display that icon. The other thing I want to do is I want to go to the mobile device, and I want to log in first as our system admin. Now notice that the system administrator has full control to all of the mobile device functions. Now I'm going to log out and log back in as the inventory user. Now remember that the inventory user was only given full control to the inventory functions on the mobile device. 
and you'll see that's exactly what we've done. So security has now been set up successfully for the ADC system. In our next training video, titled Setup and Configuration Part 2, we will finish the configuration of the system administration module by setting up our warehouse locations, setting up our warehouse zones, and then configuring our label printers. Thank you for viewing the Savant ADC video training series. For more information, contact Savant Software at 855-236-9083. You can email us at support at savantwms.com or visit our website at www.savantwms.com.